Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. For this segment, we are going to talk about Super Typhoon U2, which is now passing directly over Tinian and Saipan in the Northern Marianas Islands, packing maximum sustained winds of 178 or basically 180 miles per hour with gusts to 219 miles per hour, hour basically 220 miles per hour and featuring a minimum central pressure of around 899 millibars. This makes this storm a rough equivalent to Super Typhoon Haiyan, which slammed into the Philippines. Running through these islands, uh, such a powerful storm is unfortunately going to have extraordinarily devastating impacts. There, there is nothing to slow down the strength of this storm over these tiny little islands. And it's unfortunate that many or most structures are, are likely to be destroyed or suffer severe damage. And any standing trees or brush on the island is also likely to sustain very severe damage. In addition to the extraordinary large pounding waves and very high storm surge that will be accompanied by this storm as it passes over these these tiny islands this storm is is extraordinarily powerful a, a a breed of category five storms all its own and in a breed of category five tropical cyclones all its own u2 is expected to track over the northern marianas islands and continue on a course toward uh, roughly toward taiwan over the coming days, but it is not expected to maintain such strong intensity with uh, maximum sustained wind, wind speed dropping to around 125 knots with gusts to 150 knots. Still a very powerful storm and something that all interests in the Western Pacific will need to take account of. The minimum central pressure uh, of U2 is something I'd like to talk about. It's not the lowest central pressure we've ever seen in, her, in, a, in a typhoon or a hurricane, but it is among the, the lowest. The lowest that has ever been recorded was Typhoon Tip uh, on October 12th of 1979 with the lowest, lowest minimum central pressure of 875. HPA of mercury. Uh, as we noted before, Typhoon Haiyan had an estimated minimum central pressure in the range of 895 millibars with a recorded low of 910 um, HPA of, of mercury uh, by a ground station in Guyane. And we've had some other storms in this range, but not a lot. Uh, the list is rather short. Uh, Hurricane Patricia, which was a very intense tropical cyclone in the eastern Pacific, in the, in the northeast Pacific, had a minimum central pressure of 879 millibars. And Typhoon Maggie on October 17th, 2010, result, resulted in a, a minimum pressure of 890 HPA. So, U2 is now in a class uh, of storms that has, has a very short list that includes Tip, Haiyan, Patricia, and Maggie. So, so a, a very, very intense storm at the moment. As with recent storms, U2 is feeding off of warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in the near equatorial Pacific region, ranging from about 1.5 degrees Celsius above normal according to the Earth Null School Monitor to around 0 .5, 0 0.5 degrees Celsius above normal. These warmer than normal sea surface temperatures have been feeding extreme weather events in this region of the world throughout summer and into fall to include extreme tropical cyclones, but also to include some very severe heat waves and rainfall events in Japan. And it's worth noting that the whole region itself is, is 
presently seeing much warmer than normal sea surfaces, which is helping to evaporate a lot of moisture into the air. And this moisture not only is, our, is the warmer than normal water providing fuel for storms, but also this moisture. And just to the east of Japan, I just like to point out that ocean temperatures are ranging from about 1.5 degrees Celsius above normal to around four degrees Celsius above normal in the hot spots, according to the Earth Null School Monitor. This is a signature of human-caused climate change. Warming oceans, warming uh, ocean surfaces are, are a, a primary feature of human-caused climate change that is thought to be increasing the peak potential of hurricanes and tropical cyclones across the world. This year, we have certainly seen a, a number of Category 5 tropical cyclones across the globe. And according to Caroline Floyd, a, a meteorologist, as of October 22nd, officially, we had nine Category 5 tropical cyclones across the world as a, throughout as, as a measure throughout 2018 and it's possible that we've had another two that we'll have to wait on the official measure but adding it to that makes the total count for category five storms 10. so we've seen 10 category five storms officially so far in 2018 the record year was 1997, which featured 12 Category 5 storms. That record is now under threat. So for, uh, for this year, we, we're seeing very intense tropical cyclone activity. And, and U2 is, is just yet another example, although the most extreme example for 2018, so far the strongest storm on record for 2018 and one of the st strongest storms on record for for the globe in general as part of a, a very small list of, of storms that have achieved minimum central pressure below 900 hpa of mercury and such intense winds winds in the range of 180 miles per hour with gusts to 220 miles per hour if there is a, a Category 6 developed for storms, U2 would probably be in the running for, for a Category 6 event. So I'm just going to flip back here and just show you again the, the satellite shot of the enhanced satellite shot of U2 as it rakes the northern Marianas Islands. This satellite shot is provided by NASA, a, a tragic event unfolding in the Western Pacific. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.